Hello everyone and welcome. This is Lindy, the CEO and founder of Win Network. If you are not familiar, we are the online platform and offline conference for women looking to create and cultivate a career of their dreams. It's a movement for a new generation women like yourself, women who are redefining the meaning of work on their own terms. We're creative, entrepreneurial women and women with influence in their various industries celebrate each other's successes. I'm also the co-founder of the award-winning Digo app, a job board marketplace. So if you are exploring other career opportunities, especially in this strange and unfamiliar times, go do yourself a favor and download the Digger app. So welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I'm here to share my entrepreneurial dreams with you, the good times and the bad times. Also share my many years of experience as a career strategist. I've learned to give myself permission to have fun as I take on new challenges and learn new skills. Are you ready to do the same? Let's begin to pursue our passions and our purpose together. The future is a blank canvas. I'm willing to start painting, but the real question is, will you pick up your own paintbrush and paint with me? I look forward to getting to know you better. So please subscribe, rate and review our podcast and go follow us on all our social media channels to hear from other women just as you. I promise to reach each and every one of them. So let's dive in. Today is the very first episode of our masterclass series, Coaching Over Coffee. In this series, I will be changing things up so you can get even more career and business and tech strategies to level up your next level. Every episode will be exploding with practical advice on the very latest trending topics in technology, business and entrepreneurship. Make sure for these masterclass episodes you have your notepad, pen and a cup of coffee. So, you got the interview, now what? How do you impress enough to get the job? The mistake that so many have made or are making is that they focus so much on themselves. But in an interview, it's not really about you, but what the company you are interviewing for wants in you. Prepare on the following. Understand the culture. Do your research on the interviewer. On social media, there are so many spaces that you can find out about your interviewer. Demonstrate relevant experience. Be enthusiastic. Show that you're easy to work with. Be precise about why you want this job. Ask thoughtful questions. Talk to people at the company before the interview. Relax and be yourself. Show you've been paying attention. The purpose of the interview is that it is a conversation in which you and an employer exchange information. Your objective is to get an offer of employment and the employer's objective is to find out a number of things. For example, culture fit. The hiring manager will assess how well suited you are for the company culture. This includes finding out whether you've worked in similar environments before and also assessing your overall demeanor and mindset. Number two, managerial fit. Because different supervisors have different management styles, the hiring manager will evaluate how you like to be managed and whether it aligns with the management style of your potential supervisor. Another one can be core skills. A hiring manager will take a deeper look at each of your core skills in order to ensure you have the qualifications to perform the job. Another one is if you understand the role. The hiring manager will also evaluate whether you have thoroughly reviewed the job description and whether you understand and are excited about the position. They will evaluate whether you appear excited about the opportunity to work with the company in general. The interview is a vital step to obtaining a career position and often depends on your skills in marketing your potential. Do not miss out on a good position for which you are qualified due to a lack of preparation and practice. You need to be ready to answer questions about your career goals and background. You will also want to develop intelligent questions of your own to help you obtain the necessary information for making an informed decision. Furthermore, 
Preparation helps build your self-confidence in your interview skills and is the key to successful interviewing. If you really want to nail an interview, don't make it about you, but instead make it about what the company is looking for. You can stand out from other applicants by, I want to give you a couple of hints. So by saying, I have a lot of examples from my previous experience, but what would be most important for you to hear about? This way I can tailor what I share with you so it's relevant for our conversation. Remember to ask the interviewer questions and allow the conversation to evolve around what they say. This will make it seem more organic. Finally, you want to have the opportunity to interview them as it gives you the information if you would want to work for them. Ask them about their culture, challenges and anything else important to you. You are scoping them out just as much as they are scoping you out. The interview is arguably the most important part of the hiring process. While it can be difficult to know what a hiring manager is looking for during an interview, taking the time to fully prepare in advance can help you feel more confident and relaxed from beginning to end. If you know of any of your friends or colleagues going for an interview, make sure to share this information with them. It might be helpful. It might be the difference if they get the position or not. Please subscribe to all our channels, follow us if this was helpful and don't miss out on any other videos helping you to win at life, win at purpose and win at work. Oh, 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 oh,